Creating multiple floors in Revit is pretty straightforward. To start out, I'm going to go to an elevation view. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go to the browser window in the elevations category and click on double click on north and I'll bring up the north elevation view. Since the model already has a floor drawn in it, the uh, quickest way to make some new ones is to just uh, make some copies from that. I first want to lay down uh, the new levels that are going to be associated with the floors. So I'm going to go to the tool tray, um, click on the level tool, uh, and just start drawing some new levels. I'm going here, uh, um, I can uh, click on the text to change the name. Um, and change its height. And I'll change the third floor one. When I change the name of a level that's referenced, um, it's asking me if I want to change the name of all the views that are associated with it. I'll click yes. Um, since the building is uh, going to get taller, I might as well bring up the walls um, real quick also. If I click on the wall and hit element properties, uh, you can see that the wall is already constrained to the top of parapet level. Um, since that's the case, um, if I grab the, the level, I can actually drag it up and the walls will go with it. Um, I can click in the field and enter a new height and it brings up the level and the walls go with it. Now that the uh, walls are up and the new levels are placed in the model, I'm going to go ahead and grab the floor object um, that's already created um, and uh, copy one up. So I just go up to the top, click copy, click a start, I'll enter the distance 11 feet, click enter, it's brought it up. With, while it's still uh, selected, uh, you want to now change its association and make sure that it's associated with the second floor. So while the element is selected, I'll click on its element properties. Um, it's automatically changed it to second floor, so that's good. And I want to make sure it's also aligned with the level and locked to it. So I'm going to click align, choose the level you want it to move to, choose the top of the floor. Oops, actually I accidentally grabbed the brick there. Choose the top of the floor. Um, it's moved up the floor to the level and then I'll click the padlock to lock it in place. Uh, since its structure will be different uh, than the first floor, you can um, go into its element properties and change its structure out. I've already covered that in another video, so I'll just skip that for now. Um, I'm now going to copy it up one more time for the third floor. I'm going to check its element properties. Uh, this time um, it, it didn't automatically change out the floor, so I'll just change it and then make sure it's aligned and lock it. Now that it's locked, if I move the level, the floor will go with it. And when I click on uh, the view, the second floor view, it goes to that floor. Uh, finally, uh, another tip when um, copying up multiple elements for a, a multi-story building, I'll go ahead and go back to the elevation view, is I can actually grab the window elements and copy them up as well. So I'm going to just select everything, go to the filter button at the top of the options bar, click check none, and click windows. Now it's grabbed just the window elements. I can copy them up the same way I copied up the floor. While they're still, while the new ones are still highlighted, I want to go to their element properties and just double check that they're now associated with the second floor level. And they are. And I can copy up one more row for the third floor and check to make sure that they're associated with the correct uh, level.